All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here in my office this morning. I get an email from a very good friend of mine, Pops Quest, and he shoots me this uh, picture, a JPEG of this deal uh, from the CEO of Dick Sporting Goods. And it is basically a letter from Dick Sporting Goods talking about AR. And I was like, okay, let me read this thing. And as I read it, I became infuriated. And I'm going to read it now to you in case you haven't heard of it. We'll go ahead like this because I have the knack of reading well. Here we go. This is from the CEO of Dick Sporting Goods. Also, keep in mind, Field and Stream. And when I get done with this letter, you should be probably upset as well. Now, the beauty of our country is we have this thing called capitalism. And where you can speak your mind to the greatest extent through your voice in capitalism. And that, sir, will be the biggest impact on your company because... We don't just buy guns. We buy soccer equipment. We got soccer moms. We buy golf equipment. We buy all types of sporting equipment. And I'll be damned if I will ever step foot into Dick Sporting Goods, never step foot into a field and stream because they're so overpriced. It's ridiculous. So here we go. This is from Edward Stack, the CEO of Dick Sporting Goods. We at Dick Sporting Goods are deeply disturbed and saddened by the tragic events in Parkland. Our thoughts and prayers are with all of the victims and their loved ones. But thoughts and prayers are not enough. We have tremendous respect and admiration for the students organizing and making their voices heard regarding gun violence in schools and elsewhere in our country. Man, we get it. We are too. But if the answer is to ban assault weapons or AR-15s or American sporting rifles is your answer, I got news for you. It's going to be a long time coming and you're not going to see any results from it. We have heard you. The nation has heard you. We support and respect the Second Amendment. No, you don't. And we recognize and appreciate that the vast majority of gun owners in this country are responsible, law-abiding citizens, but we have to help solve the problem that's in front of us. Gun violence is an epidemic that's taking the lives of too many people, including the brightest hope of the future of America, our kids. Totally agree with you, okay? No one's disagreeing with you. But the problem is, right now, you people, the government, they don't enforce the laws that are on the books. And if you don't do that, how do you expect on in stealing more laws just as a feel-good thing? Now, I'm getting more fired up as we move along here. Gun violence is an epidemic that takes the lives of too many young people, or too many people, including the brightest hope for our future, our kids. Okay, following all the rules and laws, we sold a shotgun to the Parkland shooter in November of 2017. It was not the gun nor type of gun he used in the shooting, but it could have been. So now, I still don't get it. Okay, so clearly this indicates on so many levels that the systems in place are not effective to protect our kids and our citizens. You know what? You really and truly have the immediate and local law enforcement agency to blame for his ability to buy a firearm from your store. Not the law-abiding gun owners who own ARs or the potential future people who would like to have an AR. The blame is being pointed at every direction where, except where it needs to be. Law enforcement. Particularly Broward County. We believe it's time to do something about it. Beginning today, Dick Sporting Goods is committed to the following. We will no longer sell assault-style rifles also referred to as modern, sport, modern sporting rifles. We have already removed them from all Dick's stores after Sandy Hook Massacre, but we will now remove them from sale at all 35 Field and Stream stores. I don't have a problem with that because I don't shop at Field and Stream. So if this is all you're whining about, dude, no one shops at your stores anyway. Walk into a Field and Stream and they want 15% more in that store than anywhere else in the country for the same item. It's like they took... The, a gun that has an MSRP and marked it up 15% relying on stupid individuals to buy them. That, you asshole, is an asshole move. So I'm glad. Once you do this, remove all firearms from your stores. Don't just do a few. Do them all. Shit, if you're going to do it, do it for real. We will no longer sell firearms to anyone under 21 years of age. And you know what? That's your prerogative. That's the beauty of this in the United States. You can do whatever you want. We will no longer sell high-capacity magazines. We'll, we never have and never will sell bump stocks that allow semi-automatic weapons to fire more rapidly. 
At the same time, we implore our elected officials, okay, this is the kicker, to enact common sense gun reform and pass the following regulations. Here's where I get mad, because here's the deal. In all, I don't care. Capitalism will win through every single day. If you want to go broke, I guarantee your stock, sir, after all these videos go viral, will go to shit. And I hope it does. With exception of the people who, good people who work in your stores are going to take effect in this. I expect down the streets of Field and Stream, I want a store closing sign on that bitch here pretty soon. The first thing he says, ban assault style firearms. Who are you, jackass? Oh, we're going to cover that here in a few minutes because there's a real funny thing going on here. Raise the minimum age to purchase the firearms to 21, ban high-capacity magazines and bump stocks, require universal background checks to include relevant mental health information, previous interactions with law to ensure a complete universal database of those banned from buying firearms. There pretty much is, jackass. It's called a nix. Except no one... In the past two shootings, the church shooting out there, a guy did had a domestic violence abuse case, and the Air Force failed to to uh, acknowledge it or report it. Therein lied the problem. This kid here that shot up the school had 36 or 39 times was the police were called on him. One time he called him on himself, and no one acknowledged it. The blame is elsewhere, not on the gun. It's on elsewhere, and if you people would just give credit where credit is due, you would take a look at it. <sighs> Close the private cell and gun show loophole that waives the necessity of background checks. <laughs> Here it is. We hope others join us in this effort to let our kids know that their pleas are not being are being taken seriously. Some will say these steps can't guarantee tragedies like Parkland will never happen again. No, they won't. Not until our law enforcement takes this shit for real. If you get called on 36 times, somebody ought to go and <laughs> raise a flag. We deeply believe, but if oh wait a minute, but if common sense reform is enacted and even one life is saved, it will have been worth it. I'm so sick and tired of the argument if one life could be saved because that argument needs to be applied across the board. And that was the video I did a while ago talking about the swimming pools, the leading cause of death in Florida for kids one to four. I guess it doesn't matter as long as it's a pleasure or if there's a big difference between accident or somebody getting murdered. The number of deaths is far more by swimming pools, and no one gives a shit because that's okay. We deeply believe that this country's most precious gift is our children. No shit. We do too. They are our future. We must keep them safe sincerely. Edward W. Stack, Chairman, CEO of Dick Sporting Goods. All right, Stack, here's the deal. I will never set foot in your store again, and I implore to everybody who watches this video, do the same. Neither will I ever step, I'll not even drive by, I won't even look at your field and stream because I think that's just a crock of shit. But here's the funny thing. I was looking it up. Edward W. Stack's net worth, check this out, and if you work at field and stream, I hope you hear about this. His net worth is $1.15 billion. Now here's the whole thing. I'm all about it. If you're a CEO and you want to make as much money, there's a reason why you were CEO. I agree with that. But because I hate you now, I'm. <laughs> here's the deal. You know what the average hourly paid employee makes at Dick's Sporting Goods? $12 an hour. So here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Edward W. Stack is being a millionaire and a billionaire on your backs. And now what he's wanting to do is he wants to stifle his company. Your stock price is going to go to shit, and I hope it does. Now here's another thing. You know the video I did a little while ago, Wayne D. Fontana? He is District 42. Guess where that is? That is in Allegheny County, home of Edward W. Stack. Isn't it ironic that I did a video a couple days ago and these two jackasses live door to door? I don't think so. There are no coincidences. This guy was giving a shit, and I guarantee you that this asshole gives money to Wayne D. Fontana. So anyway, guys, that's my rant for today. I had a lot of other things picked out, but I'm going to tell you something. When Pops Quest sends me an email, I listen. And I had a couple of other emails from other individuals, and I appreciate you including me in this information. I'm getting fired up, and for good reason. Capitalism at its best. Never step foot in your store again. And we buy bicycles. We buy all kinds of stuff from your store. I want you to quit selling guns altogether. Not just assault-style rifles or American sporting rifles, but quit selling guns entirely. You don't support the Second Amendment. 
You support restrictions on free Americans who have no intent on breaking the law. I'm sick of this shit. And we must fight back. We must make a fight for this thing. And if they want to, we'll make it war. I'm Codeboy32. If you got any other information, please send to me. And we always end it like this. You see that thing behind me? That's called the red, white, and blue. We support the boys in blue. Because at the end of the day, they're there for us. But also, Chicago, you're on my list next, boys. Let's go to Boy32, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I need to go have a drink or something. It's too early in the day. Besides, i got to go do wind sprints. S-Winger70 says I'm fat. Let's go to Boy32. Out.